Hey guys, welcome back. A couple months ago, Lazlo and his team sent me some upgrades free of charge for my ultimate hacking keyboard that I built last year. At the time, I thought it would be cool to put in some Zeal PC clicky switches, but over time I got tired of how tactile they were and they ended up hurting my fingers a little bit over long sessions, so I put the keyboard away for a little while. Today we'll be changing the switches and installing the riser 60 and rubberized palm rests so that I can adjust the height even more. The switches I chose were some secondhand tangerines that I got from a friend. They are already lubed and all I need to do is just pop out the old ones and pop these in. In my previous mod video, I installed some case foam and some plate foam to give a more crisp sound. If you'd like to watch how I did that, the link is up above. To install the riser 60, you basically just screw in the steel plates from the kit. You will need to sandwich the rubberized palm rest underneath the plates, so just make sure that you line them up correctly. After that, I installed the steel guides on the bottom. I bought an extra set so that I wouldn't have to swap them out to go to a higher setting. I set one of the guides at the lowest setting and the other about two thirds of the way to the max. When I set the guides any higher, there was an issue with trying to collapse them all the way, and honestly any higher would have been pretty obnoxious. One thing that I thought was cool was that with this riser system, although it sits a little higher off the desk, you're able to close the keyboard all the way without taking off the riser. With the plastic feet that come with the keyboard originally, you had to remove them or install them on all four corners to get the keyboard to fit together. This keyboard is the most comfortable keyboard I have out of the 25 or so that I own. It is expensive, but worth every penny for how good the quality is. The Riser 60 is priced at $90 and I feel is not entirely necessary to enjoy this keyboard, but it is the best option out there for providing a comfortable typing experience. Here's the sound test. If you liked this video, please stay tuned as I am going to be building a cheaper Alice style layout for people who don't need the inclined positioning, but want a more natural typing position. Thanks again. See you guys in the next one.